up, folks. Main man, like the last one. Mm. Rakdos scam, but we guys are excited for it. I know I am, at least for the time being, of course. Like I said, my name's Lance from Horn. My screen name is Major Riot. That's Major underscore Riot underscore. That is my screen name on Twitch, YouTube, MTJ, MTJ, and Twitter. So watch this live on Twitch. Please are following. Watch this on YouTube. Please are subscribing. This video, thumbs up. And you can also follow me on Twitter for Bluebird slash X action. That's right. Follow me right on Twitch and Twitter. And subscribe to me right on YouTube for the low, low cost of free. Don't delay. Do it now for a guaranteed outburst of rage, confusion, and even sometimes joy. Um, you know, uh, you know, it's, uh, I gotta say, you know, I mean, follow, you know, that it's all free. And I always have a disclaimer, though, of course, as well. You can have disclaimers in this day and age. It's just not enough disclaimers. Uh, I am not responsible for sudden increase in top deck only lands, being wrecked by Ragavan, or being unable to find your sideboard cards. If that starts happening to you, it has nothing to do with me. That's my disclaimer. Like, that should get me out of any lawsuits. Um, but as you can tell, I do not play Magic the Gathering, although to watch my videos, you may never know that. When I do play Magic the Gathering, I do prefer to play whatever the RCQ season is. Well, right now it's Pioneer, but I got nothing going on this weekend. There's no RCQs happening. So I figured, yeah, let's go back to Rakdos Scam. You know, I enjoyed playing it, uh, what, a month or two ago? I don't remember. And then I'm going to get more into uh, Pioneer, and then I'm eventually going to start practicing again for the standard RC, right, in Dallas. So I'll be heading down to Dallas, Texas to play in a... And the RC there, last DreamHack one, right? Now they're all SCG, which means there won't be any anywhere near me. <laughs> like, SCG considers West Coast like New Orleans and Dallas. Like, no, that's only like halfway. Can you come all the way to LA? No. Um, so, yeah, let's take a look at the weather. And it's a cloudy day out there, real cloudy one. Of course, that's pretty normal out here. Weather for Raven Hill conditions are cloudy with a temperature of 49 degrees. The wind is blowing from the south at 3 miles per hour, and the current humidity is 87%. So there you go. Uh, weather for your friend, Major Riot. And let's see here. We are still at 55 followers on Twitter. We're still at 347 followers on Twitch. We did go down one subscriber on YouTube. We're now at 601, which, again, is 601 more than I ever thought I'd have, honestly. I mean, when I first started doing that, I figured no one's going to watch, watch this stuff. Uh, so anyways, shout out to all 55 followers on Twitter. Shout out to all 347 followers on Twitch. Shout out to all 601 subscribers on YouTube. And of course, a massive shout out to all three of my Twitch subscribers. It's going to be a little bit of the harder money, very trying and dangerous times. I really appreciate it. It's going way above me on the Call of Duty, obviously. Spend the money anywhere else will make a lot more sense than here. I mean, I think anybody who watches this live on Twitch or recorded on YouTube, I always have a particularly massive, robust, adult style shout out for those that are willing to contribute financially. Thank you so very, very much. Um, so, now we're going to play more Rakdos Scam. Like I said, it's not a fresh league. I am currently 2 and 2 in it. Start off real good, beating up graveyard mill style decks, and then uh, played a little more meta decks. Right? Uh, is it Merc Tide? Another Rakdos scam, and I really struggle to find the key cards. Right? No Orcish Bowmasters in the uh, in the is it Merc Tide list or a match? I mean, obviously it wouldn't be in their list. Um, and um, I guess Rakdos scam. I just really struggled with lands. You know, just not enough lands, and just not enough. In one game, I didn't have. I had too many lands, I think. So, really struggling there. But, hoping to do better today. Finish this league, start another one. I'll be here tomorrow. I won't be here on Friday. Um, Friday is just, you know, I'm just not going to be able to play. Um, I got stuff going on, and I don't want to be rushing and, like, just just bum-rushing stuff to try and get on stream. It's just, I, those days have always been particularly bad for me. Like, one, I can't get what I want done, and then I can show up on the stream already stressed out and mad that I, I'm... I didn't do what I wanted to do today, and now I'm going to play worse, and bad things are going to happen to me. So I won't play here on Friday, but I will be here next week on Monday. Um, right now, I'm not sure how much I'll be here next week. It's either going to be all five days. Oh, no. No, I won't be here Friday next week for sure. I will be here Monday and Tuesday, barring something else. Um, but those other days are kind of in question, the Wednesday and Thursday. I just haven't got news on whether or not I need to do stuff for work or not. Uh, good evening, Detective Scott. How you doing, man? Glad you're here. Uh, let's get on in here. Um, again, guys, I'm going to try music. Uh, I'm just going to play. If it works. There it goes. I'm just going to play arena music, all right? That's all I'm going to do. Because I can't get copyright stricken for arena music, I hope. Um, but I'm going to be monitoring um, what's going on with that and make sure it's not too loud. You guys probably can't even hear it right now. A little bit once in a while it shows up. But let's get on in there. 
It's amazing I have all these super qualifiers and stuff on here, right? On MTGO, and it's like I never get to participate in them because I just don't play enough, and I certainly don't win enough. Right? So, I have been... Um, I have been really making sure I've been re-watching and re-listening to my videos to see how the sound is. And uh, we're going to try it out again today. I know some of these arena songs are way louder than others. Like, but that shouldn't be a problem. Um, you know, I mean, I can... Let's try it there. Because all of a sudden, it just this music, just like boom, it's just super loud, especially on a couple of the maps where they call them. But you know, trying to increase viewer viewer joy, if that makes sense. Like, like some people complain about no music. Some people complain about there being music. You know, you can't please everybody, and that's always a challenge in life in general. But I don't mind. A little bit of music, especially this song, this Kamigawa song, which for some reason Kamigawa has two songs. Um, you know, uh, I don't know how that happened. Just play Street Fighter music might be too much. I'd love to maneuver, but like for real, Street Fighter music is awesome. Alrighty, well before I, uh, well first I gotta do this. Hang on. All right, well, before I officially decide to go first, I'm going to reveal my beverage today. And, folks, it's a rumor that it may have been named after me, or I may have inspired it in some way. What am I talking about? I'm talking about a 12-ounce can of Mountain Dew Major Melon. That's right. We got Major Melon here. Ten hut! You know, the old stuff there. We all know the official start of the video doesn't begin. How a crack of my beverage could happen right now. Here we go. Oh, yeah. There we are. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go first. Well, there's some Bowmasters to make up for last weekend. Yeah, I'm keeping. I gotta get used to music, too, because I'm used to silence. You know, I, I just do want to try this out, so guys, just bear with me. If it sounds awful, uh, if I listen back to it tomorrow, because the way I test is through my headset. That's how I test to see how I sound. It, playing it out loud on your phone, your speaker, you can put it on your headset, and then you can really guess what's going on. This is nice music. This is calming. This is soothing. Makes you feel like you're getting like a drink of sake in a nice Japanese warm hot springs or whatever the hell it is. Right? You know, maybe watching a, a geisha do a water painting. While also whimsically thinking about um Samurai stuff, like swords and uh, helmets, you know, always being on guard for foreign invaders, which I guess is everybody, I don't know. Underground mortuary sticking fatal push in the graveyard. Is this Jund? Might be Jund. Hey, right, I'm going to throw out a Bowmasters at him. Might be just be Golgari. All right, let's swing at him. Swing for two. And uh, Manure Bug, glad you're here. I forgot to say that, uh, but I'm glad you're here. I'll get another Swamp. I don't have enough Swamps. Mm. Fatal pushes the Goblin instead of the Orcish Bowman. I guess that makes sense. Oh. 
Great. Seems to be Golgari scam. No, oh, maybe not. Never mind. Oh my god, is that Golgari vampires? What the fuck? Golgari vampires? Wow. Well, damn. It's not a bad draw. Uh, yes, I would like to. I think I just need to kill that Soren, too. Yeah, I guess these two. I always get punished by that. Yeah, I've, I've, I haven't seen Golgari. I've seen Rakdos Vampire Scam. Uh, I haven't seen Golgari anywhere. I haven't even heard of it. But I knew this was happening in Modern. I mean, why not? Um, but yeah, I mean, I just... Whoa, what's going on? I just need to kill uh, that... Uh, that's Soren. I mean, there's just no questions asked. I could also play the Kroxa, too. Make them discard their last card. I I think that... Ah, oh man. That's so tough. I, I think I do want to kill the Soren. Giving lifelink and everything is pretty brutal. And that way they can't race as effectively as they want. I want to make sure hold this bloodstained Myers so they didn't see it. Yeah. I mean, this is going to be a really rough clock here. Wow. What the hell, man? What is that? And now I can't. I, I just lose. Unless I find removal here. No. Why would that happen? Because no matter what I do, I have to fetch. Take one. Yeah, I mean, Maelstrom Pulse absolutely wrecked me there. Absolutely destroyed me. Yeah, I can't do anything. I have to t take one damage, and he can just fly over. I, I, I literally can't stop this. If I play Kroxa, take one damage, he flies over. I have no way to gain life, no way to block this. I needed to have a um, um, molten collapse there. It didn't happen. All right. So, what do we need to do here? Uh, I've already got Shaw's Udix in. I don't think Leyland the Void is doing anything. I don't think Blood Moon's good enough to bring in. I think Colligan's command's good. I like K commands in these type of games. Uh, I should probably take out Magus. Maybe Kroxa? Maybe a not dead after all? I mean, do you think it's got Leyland on the Void? Do I bring in Leyland on the Void? I mean, he didn't show the scam. I mean, I, I'm assuming he ha does have it. Just take out my not dead after alls and bring those in? Right? I mean, does that make sense? Is that good? Right? I just don't know. You know, that's the problem. This is now the new problem playing this deck. And, uh, I think I'm just going to go with it like this. Just Golgari vampires? Yeah, I'll keep. Not the most exciting hand, but hopefully we can mess some stuff up. There is not dead after all. There's Soren. There's Pillage the Bog. That's a new card. Endurance. Pillage the Bog. Let's top X card to your library. X twice the number of lands you control. Put one of them into your hand. The rest of the bottom of your library are in order plot. What's the point of playing extra on the plot? I guess so for later. I don't know. Uh, clearly, I'm going to take Soren Imperious Bloodlord. I think that looks good. Probably got to take Vayne Ripper next. 
Or not Vein Ripper, Endurance. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> well, weirdly enough, they only have a one lander. But I think we just still take the Soren, right? Close the bog, put one of them into your hand. So he can't even cast that right now. I guess take Soren again. I don't know. This is on land. I doubt they're running Blood Moon. Well, they can't be running Blood Moon, they're Golgari. Sure. You know, my Void Walker's gonna die, but whatever. Get one card out of their hand. Alright, there's another land. Will they, D Man? Do they, they have a. Did they preview a card or something? What? Uh, this is new to me. Does it turn everything into islands or something? Wow. Yeah, it's going to be pretty rough. That's true. Put a shieldered in there. Now this, you can only... Yeah, only off the cards they mill. They can't grab anything. Okay. Now they're just drawing all their lands. Now I can't even effectively K command and grab back my Void Walker because they have endurance. Okay. I was seeing if they wanted to um, bring endurance in here, but I guess not. target card and they'll discard a card. Grab that, you discard. Alright, they didn't have another one. I'll get rid of not dead after all. Alright. <clears throat> Well, we know the two cards in hand, so they cannot have a um, another different uh, not dead after all. What? They did? What happened? What the fuck? Where, how, did, how did this happen? Oh. The... 
I guess I was confused. I didn't realize they just pitched the Vein Ripper. So they must have top decked that. Alright, well, fuck. You know, I mean, god damn it. I'm pretty sure my deck has removal spells like Molten Collapse and such. But I can't seem to ever draw anything with this deck anymore. I mean, it, it's just absurd what's happened in these last three matches. Just like, where are the cards? Where did they go? Cotton Eye Joe. Like, I'd like to kill some of these creatures once in a while. Would that be all right with you, Magic the Gathering? They don't have to reveal the card. No, they don't. And that's something. I don't even know if I should attack there. I'm going to block the endurance. Can't be taken seven. No, I guess not, right? I don't even think I can survive. Karma Boy. Well, I'm glad to get rid of that, at least. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to have to, like, do some serious blocking here. I can't block the grief. Yeah, if I double block the grief, it's just a disaster. Uh, I think I gotta heave. Grief under. Oh my god, dude. It's just impossible. I don't know why my deck's just not really functioning. I'm so, so lost. Like, it's just. What happened to it? If I block here, I take go to three. If I double block, I go to three, and I lose both creatures. I I just need a top deck. Um, there's really no out. I, I don't have an out, okay? I'm dead. Just very frustrating. You know, the opponent kept a one land hand, and um, I kept a seven card hand. I thought seized them twice, and I literally couldn't do anything. I, I, I mean, look at look at the disparity here. They have revealed eighteen cards from their land, their deck. I have revealed eleven. L like how? What happened? I had to fail a mirror breaker. What happened? Where where did this go wrong? Well, I guess that's not true. They 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 did endurance me. So okay, all right, then I lose. I don't know, guys. It's just sometimes you just don't know what to say. You know, you're just like, I, I don't understand. It shouldn't perform that poorly. Should have been decent, but it wasn't decent. It was really bad. Whatever. I mean, you look at the cards, right? And you're like, where, where are these? Where, where were these? Were these there? I, I don't remember signing those out. Pretty sure Fatal Push was in there. I wouldn't side that out. 
I guess, I guess in the future, I just always got to bring in Leyline of the Void. That's the correct answer. Like, but I got destroyed doing that against that last Rakdos scam. He sided out his stuff. What happened? Did it match me and then it just dropped it immediately? What's going on? Uh, MTGO's struggling right here. Uh, what was that? Golgari scam, I guess? Yeah, it looks like MTGO's struggling a little bit right now. But it is Wednesday, guys. It's uh, Wednesday, April 24th, 2024. Which is weird. Or, no, no. It was 24th of 24, 24, 24. Uh, I'm going to keep just on the strength of killing stuff and playing a Fable the Mirror Breaker. Is this a mirror match? People told me this deck was dying. People told me Scam was, was over. They said Scam is power crept. They said the Fury Banning did a lot of damage to it. And it was relatively unplayable. Why did this happen? Like, who... Why are people lying to me all the time? And this was, like, at... Like, people... I I, I, I understand they're good players. They're guys that have won a lot. You know, they're telling, they play Magic all the time. They study Magic. They're all about Magic the Gathering. And they told me that Scam was a dead deck. Yet, whenever I play Modern, which is pretty rare right now, I'll admit. Maybe it's a good thing it's kind of rare. Um, I just run into this shit all the time, and I'm playing it myself. What happened? Why did they lie? What did they get rid of, too? Another Grief? Was that it? Oh, she altered. Yeah, I mean, it's... I don't know why people think this deck is not good. I, I don't get it. I mean, I literally have played... Three scam in a row. Three. And he didn't attack. He misclicked. Well, I got a lucky break there. Maybe that's why the deck's bad. People are just making terrible mistakes like that. And it's like, well, shit. I may need to get a, a swamp with that. All right, well, he gave me basically another extra turn. Guys, just looking at some crap. I'm going to save Takanuma. I do like this music from Kamigawa. It is soothing, somewhat peaceful. Maybe it will help me not get so angry sometimes. I doubt that, though. It'll probably really get me mad at some point. I'll yell at the music. You know, I'll blame it. Anyone but me, right? I'm actually kind of the opposite. I'm usually ridiculously harsh on myself. But in this scenario... What can I possibly do? Um, yeah, I'll discard one Takanuma, even though I said I was wanting to save it. All right. Well, let's uh, swing for two, I suppose. Uh, maybe that's wrong. I think that's actually wrong. Let's let's not attack because I need to block this thing. And then I can block with the uh, with the other token coming off this.
Jared Ledford MTG. Come on, Jared. Remember that Jared from Subway? Remember how popular and famous he was? And really a really messed up bad man. Okay. So there goes my hopes of blocking that thing. All right. Just in your hand. Good God. Questing Druid. Uh, I'm going to take Bow Masters and then take, uh, then take Fable. I think that's right. Yeah, I'll do it. I go to eight. We can't even kill this thing because of not dead after all. Four. That's happening. Um, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna try and get some cards off this ragavan. Jesus, come on. There you go, dash. Run quickly, monkey. I have to leave everyone back, except for the monkey right now. They kill... If I attack with this, and they just to kill one of these, it's over. Some good. Thought sees. Ha, ha, ha. Should I thought seize? I don't think so. I think that'd be bad. Yeah, I don't think I should. Yeah, I don't think so. Look at exile. Found that other land. Super fuck, but I gotta do this. Oh, I guess I messed up. Good, not dead after all, and take my Ragavan. I'm gonna go to three. I just actually can't kill this thing. He's got another not dead after all. I guess, no, that wouldn't make any sense. The thought sees. I've got one. All right, need some good. Uh, yeah, that's not what I'm looking for. All right, well, I mean, uh, I'll be doing some double blocking. Hopefully.
This is Jun scam. Jun scam now. Gage, that's all I've played against. You missed the first match. I lost to Golgari scam. This is game one of the second match. I'm going to lose this game to Jun scam. Literally on killable grief. He's had three not dead after all. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what, what the deal is. I, I'm just, I'm a little frustrated in terms of, one, my deck is just not really working compared to other people's. Like, like he, this, I mean, the last game of the previous match, the guy kept a one lander. I double thought seized him and he still badly beat me. Still. And I kept a decent seven card hand and just never really found anything to do. It was like, wow. So hopefully this is the last chance or hopefully I got something to do here. Nah, it's a land. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Who cares? Who cares, right? Who cares? Just stuck forever against this menacing grief. Forever, the whole game. I've killed it twice now. It's truly disturbing. All right. Alright. Surprise that. He shouldn't even attack here. He does anyways. I mean, I guess he should attack here. What am I talking about? That one. That grief finally died, guys. What do I need to get here? Like a Shaldred? Or a Thoughtseize? <clears throat> Lightning Bolt. Orcish Bowmasters. Still not dead. I'm dead. All right, man. I have, I have not found any removal really in this game, except for uh, these shallow Zetas that were immediately taken from me from that grief. Like it's been an incredible, disturbing, you know, thing of events here. I mean, really, like. I cannot beat another scam deck. And this was the problem in the RCQ season I played this in Modern. I could not beat other scam. I could not beat them, and they were the most common deck. Besides maybe five color or four color it was. I, I just couldn't beat them. Like, they always had better cards than me. I would keep a scam, and they would just obliterate me. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the not dead after alls out. I do want the K commands in. Um, oh, there's one more thing down. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try this Leyline of the Void stuff. So this one's Jun Scam. Um, I have Leyline of the Void. I have a Ragavan. Is this worth keeping? I don't think so. I mean, this hand's pretty ugly. I'm going to mull it. 
slightly better. Very slightly better. Put Blood Crypt on bottom. You know, a lot of times I think that I just never figure out how to play this deck. Like, what? what's the right hand? What's the right play? What's the right keep, you know? Do you always go for the scam every single time, you know? Or do you try to hold off, you know? I just don't know. And nobody seems to ever give me decent answers, you know? Not that I should expect that from people, but... You know, I'd like to think that once in a while, you know, I make the right decision, but it's usually not. I just, I'm so be badly beat up playing this deck. I have a winning record with it, but it doesn't feel like it. You know, when I look at my own stats for the deck, it's like, you know, man, I, I lose all the time with it, yet I've won more than I've lost. It just doesn't feel that way, like, at all. Now, notice how he got a basic swamp. I wonder if he is planning on, you know, like, blood mooning or something. Why didn't, did he draw his return? Uh, yeah, I'll get rid of Voidwalker. Oh, he'll, he'll probably just, well, I don't know. He'll probably just grief and get rid of my Bowmaster since he's got the opportunity now. Love it. Got a. Uh, I gotta do some of my mana. Wow. That sure is great. Very unexciting gameplay here from me. Really only drawing lands. Put a grief in the graveyard. I appreciate him taking himself down to 10. And you can look in glory at my lands. Again, he looked at my hand before and it was mostly just lands. So, I guess get him there. Alright, now to see if I can't kill this thing. Maybe I shouldn't have fetched, I don't know. Raise the roof for lands. Is that four in a row or is that three in a row? I think it's four. Maybe it's only three, but it feels like 25. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Straight up shameful, right? I mean, at some point, it just becomes shameful. Where you're just like, good lord, sure. Yeah, you can have Leyland of the Void. I don't even care. It shuts down your own uh, Void Walkers. Yeah, I take three. 
I know that manure, bud. It, it's absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane. Like, there's no other way. And this happens to me in paper. I mean, I lost against Rakdos Vampires, the mirror match, and the RCQ on Sunday because I only drew lands for like four straight turns. Now, that has to be four in a row. That has to be. That must be four in a row. Well, we're getting in there for one. I got to speed up this clock. We got to get Mount Doom to have victory. I mean, any creature I have, I mean, I literally have to kill this Grieve. That's seven. Oh my God, Jesus Christ, dude. That's unbelievable. That's an unbelievable, unhealthy amount of lands. And there's no reason to leave this back. You just have to swing with the damn thing. I'm not even gonna fetch, man. I. I guess it's the same, you know, I mean, just fetch. I mean, that's insane. That's actually insane. How many lands is this? One, okay, I died. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve of fifteen cards, is that right? It is right. I've only had two Bowmasters and a Thoughtseize. That's legendary. That deserves some sort of SCG Tour award. I'm serious. Like, there is no reasoning for this. At all. Like, there just is no need for this level of punishment I have to endure. I, I don't get it. Like, what did I do to deserve this? And there's no out to this, because there's no Fury anymore. Not that Fury would help. I'm too far behind. I'd have to do a, like, I guess I know it would work because I'd go like 2 1 1. Absolutely stunning. Let's get another land out of the deck. I, I guess just to make sure, right? They molten collapse. Sure. Why not? Who cares? Get that last blood crypt. Oh yeah, don't forget to Mount Doom. There, put him at five. K Command. Man, there's just no way. There's no way to Mount Doom. Like, I'm close, but I, they're at five. If they were at three, I could win. Oh my god. Yeah, I have to yeah, I can't I can't defeat them at all. I'm at two. Uh pick up Bowmasters. I guess I could pick up Voidwalker. That won't do me any good. Yeah, I pick up Bowmasters. I'm at two. Yeah. Three mana. Two mana. Three. Two. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't do that anyway. I had no way to survive, no way to win, right? Knocking down to three, pick up bow master, knocking down to two. Yeah, that's not enough. That sucks. I kill or kill, pick up, double block that I died of this at two. Uh just show them I have another land. I mean I can't do anything with that land anyways. Um yeah, it doesn't look like I can do anything. Hey command just way too late, right? I mean I could have used that a long time ago. Two pick up damage three yeah all right okay 
Let's do a final land count. I want to make sure how many lands this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen lands out of sixteen cards. Thirteen of my twenty lands appeared by turn eight. That's significant unhealthy land draw. I mean, there is no other way to put that. That is very poor for your health. That's a man who's addicted to lands, that needs to go to some sort of rehab, that needs to figure out what went wrong in his life. Have I won a game yet? I don't think I have. No, I've been destroyed by scam, playing scam. But I haven't been. I've been destroyed by my own deck. Do I need to go down to 17 lands? I don't think so, because I remember there was a game on Monday where I didn't have enough lands. I am always destroyed by lands. It's just... I, I am convinced that I, I, you know, I live a good life outside of Magic the Gathering. I do. And my biggest bane, what gives me the most stress most of the time of my life, being alive now for 35 years, is Magic the Gathering. And God makes sure whatever you believe in, I don't care, whatever, whatever force you think is out there that's powering what we have going on, you know, uh, God, uh, Zeus, Quetzalcoatl, the periodic table of elements, uh, the democratic voting machines, the ocean master from Aquaman, I don't know, whatever. Whatever is doing that is causing me this. It wants me to suffer. It wants me to draw lands to try and drag my life down. And to help you, who aren't me, to not get as many lands. So I can show you that you want to talk about flooding? You want to talk about mana screwing? You don't know shit. Come watch some of my shit, and you'll be just, wow. I can't complain anymore. Right? And I should be inspiration to you. I need to start a match, but I'm upset. But I should be inspiration to you. That no matter what situation you think you're in, it's not as bad as you think it might be. Right? So this is just that scenario. It sucks, but what can you do? I'm going to go back and watch that and just see how many lands in a row that was. Was that four or five? And I was fetching. So the shuffler was mad. All right. Enough crying, right, guys? Big girls don't cry, right? But it's my party. I can cry if I want to, allegedly. We're going first, right? Yeah, okay. I know you guys remember when I was playing this deck back in the RCQ season, I had a league where I stopped 0-4. And I ended up playing against a guy, um, you know, who was also 0-4. He's playing like a garbage deck. Like he was just playing in, he was just playing like a, a brew. And he ran into this and just immediately scooped as soon as I scammed him. Like game one, he just, I'm done. You know, what what is this Racto scam doing in the 0-4? list, right? Why is this here? I'm going to Thoughtseize. Get a basic Swamp and Thoughtseize. Well, I guess I'll take a Sign of Draco. So we got Zoo. I'm going to try, Maneuver Butt. I'm going to try. I don't know what this is. Oh, and a coddle. Okay. Going to try and get him. Taking this lightning bolt. My, my Mac is on the moon. I guess I should have taken the lightning bolt. But I fucked up. What else is new?
Maybe I can bait that bolt out. That's not good. <sighs> How do people have such good draws all the time? Ow! I can't play Shialdred as well if I... Yeah, they just bolt. They just bolt the Magus. And I'm relatively dead. What do you even do? Hmm. They like their hands so much they're not going to draw and discard. Yeah, let's discard the Blood Crypt for sure. Max of Moon is pretty much dead too. But I think I'm just going to discard that. Okay. I mean, this is four. They trample over for three. Bolt me. Let me to eight or something. No. Seven, four, one. One, I think. I don't know, as long as it doesn't get double strike. I mean, I don't even know how how I'm going to even deal with uh, with this Draco. I mean, I guess I can draw lots of removal, I guess. That I can't seem to find right now. It can't be Shalders either. It has to be Molten Collapse. The only out. There's one. Show me a second one. What powerful draws? <sighs> what the hell is going on? Uh, Injured Explosives is in. I think Blood Moon's in. I doubt the Voidwalker is god awful here. Uh, I could bring in Kai Command. Right, I probably should. Uh, is Ragavan any good in this? Is Bowmasters any good? Bowmasters isn't great, right? How many Bowmasters did I take out? I think something like that. All right. Sure. Joba Brawler can't be killed by uh, a K Command. Uh, 
could be Molten Clap. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll take the Draco. Uh... May I take Brawler? May I take Binding? Sure, I'll take I'll take a bind. Hopes here is I can moan collapse the brawler and K command the sign of Draco because they they they're probably not going to cast the leyline the guild pack leyline right. But I'm probably wrong about that. They'll probably just cast it right away as fast as they can. Hmm. I guess I'll croak to them. Might as well do something. Wild Nacatl, I didn't know they had. Oh, they play Sign of Draco. Okay. Oh. I know that manure, but when I, I don't even know if it was banned. I think when they made modern it was already banned, or did did they let it play for a little bit? Because I remember just immediately it not being there. Like I don't remember seeing it for years. Like Wild Nacoddle. I still think it's good. I mean it's still getting played. It's gotta be good, right? Um, okay. Well, yeah, I, I think it was on the ban list when they started Modern. It was just banned. They just decided it was too good. Um, I think here I may want to do Grief, take away Neshoba Brawler and Tribal Flames. Uh, I have to get rid of K command though. Guess that's what we do. Oh my god. Fuck. Oh my god. I guess get rid of Brawler. They have so many creatures though, it feels stupid getting rid of Brawler. But it feels stupid letting them have Leyline Binding. I can kill this Draco still. Alright. Well, fuck. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Man, my deck is really performing poorly.
I guess swing and make them use the ley line binding. Yeah, they don't even care. Man, oh man. Could be an 05 day. Like, I mean, I don't even think I can come close to beating anybody. Okay. That's very helpful. Uh, swing for four. Play Ragavan. Yeah, it dies to Lightning Bolt and it dies to a lot of things. So clearly, I think what happened there was they were terrified that modern was going to be way too fast when they made it right because you got to remember they wanted to slow it down because at the time it was just standard and basically vintage i guess legacy I'm trying to remember a long time ago right 2011 when they made modern um and i honestly wasn't that active at magic at the time because of financial problems and uh, young adulthood problems and um please do not have stubborn denial yes um, but they were just afraid that it was too fast, I think. Oh. Okay. All right, they're empty-handed. Give me a land so I can cast this fable. No. But Bowmasters is semi-okay. I can kill Ragavans and the like. Suddenly this is a pretty close game. Didn't look like it was going to be that way. Okay. What happened to the music? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Gotta put pressure on them. Gotta put pressure on them. If they got a ragman, they got a ragman. Come on, Bowmasters. You can do this. You can do this, Bowmasters. Oh, he drew a land. Okay, I gotta find Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt kills him. Lightning Bolt kills them. Well. Oh, wow. They had to go to... They had to go to... What is this? You can't cast that thing. Yeah, for four, it takes five. What's happening here? What is this? Oh, okay. A lightning bolt? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's as good as a lightning bolt, baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, how many creatures do I have in here? 13. <laughs> Probably not enough. Nah, that's a lot of removal, man. Fatal pushes, shards, molten collapses, A commands, engineered explosives. I think I'm alright. Sure. I already have more lands than I got the entire last game. In my opening hand. Even more lands. I will keep. Oh boy. 
Oh boy, I've got to thought seize away that damn that goddamn sign of Draco. They mold for it. They mold one, so you know what that means, guys. They got it. How many copies do you think they got? One, two, all three. <laughs> Give me that! Get the fuck out of here! All right, now I can fatal push this Nakatl. Please do not top deck one. Oh no! That's bad. It's got to fatal push that now. Good lord. Okay, things are looking up. Uh, I'm gonna get a. I need a fatal push that now because I don't want to have a stubborn denial just hit me. Right, just fatal push it. Get it out of here. All right, I'm gonna go down to 15. I gotta get a basic swamp. No questions asked. Let's see what he does here. Maybe he plays like a a relic of progenitus or something. Smart play. All right. Okay, he doesn't. Gotta get a swamp. <sighs> Do I just molten collapse that now? I mean, he's gonna have four lands. We know the two cards hands are Gantha and the Sacred Foundry. I I think I do. Just molten collapse this. Don't be a Ragavan. Okay. Luckily, I didn't have Trample. I guess I can get a basic. It doesn't really matter here. Um. Basic mound doesn't mean anything. It stays at five, five. Fuck! God damn it! I didn't realize that. Yeah, it gives them all basic types. Yeah, that was stupid of me. Blood Moon's terrible, I guess, now. You literally can't play this card against this deck. It's actually god awful. Wow, and it just hint really hindered me, too. Yeah, I guess Blood Moon's just dead. Can't even play the damn thing. I know, I'm just super dead. Wow. Great. Uh, I can I can block one each. That's all I can do. Man, oh man. So I shouldn't have cast that. I should have cast Fable and the Mirror Breaker instead. I don't know. I, I just don't think I, I I just don't think that I can have done anything there. Just I'm so mana screwed almost every game I play. It it's really shocking. Uh, no out. There's zero out. I need a block. I have no outs. I am dead. Because I cast Blood Moon. Hoping that it would do something, but it did absolutely nothing. I mean, it was really bad. Yeah. Just super dead. Just draw a card, see what it is. Pretty much unplayable. 
Yeah, I don't know what, I mean, I don't know. Like, I just, I, I really don't know what's going on with this deck. That's four straight games, matches, where I was extremely hindered by land. Four straight. And this is supposed to be one of the most consistent decks in modern, really. And I'm just really, I mean, I won a game. I'm just really struggling to find things to do. Like, you know, this is a common theme with me playing Magic, is I just, I know how to play semi-decently, enough to win some RCQs in the last year. Um, but I really struggle to find things to do, like actually play the game, like actually cast spells, actually, you know, have creatures to block and attack with. I really struggle on that aspect of Magic the Gathering. It has nothing to do, I, usually, with, you know, I mean, yeah, that Blood Moon was a bad play. Honestly, I've never personally seen the interaction there. So Blood Moon is just dead to Leyline of the Guild Pack. It's an absolutely worthless card against them. Uh, it, so it shouldn't be sided in, I guess. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Like, what do you do against that deck now? I, Blood Moon is just completely useless anymore that's shocking that blood moon is completely dead i mean blood moon was dead at one point against uh arkham's astrolabe or whatever it was called right i mean those were five color decks running blood moon in them um but fuck it i I'm, I'm just really dejected so i'm going to keep four land hands i mean i have lands now i'll draw some more don't worry guys i'll get some more out there I'm going to play Ragavan turn one and lose the game. Right? The Thoughtseize. Scam. I've lost my entire hand. Got the new Liliana the Veil on MTGO. That's shameful. Like, straight up, that's shameful. Well, I got Fatal Pushes, I got Lightning Bolts, I got a lot of stuff. You know, I need to be like these guys and aggressively mold to the point where it like it's it's all in. And just go for it. Now, I've done that. Remember one time I molded to zero? Like, I just molded to zero just to show how fucked that is? All right, there's Molten Collapse. We got some going. There's Hope. Do they think they have another different extra? Not Dead After All or Thoughtseize here. Which one is it? Which one is it? Okay, not a thought cease yet. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Maybe I can kill this thing. Maybe I can kill this uh, grief. Right now, this is mono black. Damn. Yeah, I'm gonna thin the deck more. Get another swamp. <laughs> well, I can actually do both. I can get rid of the wicked token too, but yeah, I'm just gonna take out that. Let's make it easy. Let's see it. Aha! They did not have it. All right. Well, let's see if I can come from behind from this. And they're not holding the Bowmasters. They would have cast that by now. They got nothing. All right, sweet. More lands. Even more. To be fair, I think that's the first land I've drawn. I did keep four. All right, get in there. Fiddle push Bowmasters. Never mind. So this used to be mono black scam. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah, getting a mall maneuver, but they're all here. Fucking scam on parade.
People said this was over. They said the strategy was dead. They said nobody would grief scam anymore. What the hell? What the fuck is that? Bruh! <laughs> he just top decks a fatal push? Nice. Nice. I mean, you play it. I can get a Ragavan or a Ragavan off this Takanuma. I mean, I guess I will. That's going to be so bad. I, I cannot Takanuma this guy, right? I just, I can't do that. Because he'll just get whatever I mill in, he can just cast for free. So yeah, I can't let him have a Shialdred. That doesn't work. All right, I guess I'm just going to take Beedens here. <laughs> I, I cannot attack a Numa into this. That's just crazy. The best I can get is a Ragavan. All right, we'll try it again. Try to block again. Here we go. Violent shadow on shadow action. Look at this. Oh my god. That was brutal. Alright. Okay, now, now it is time to tack Anuma. Alright, here we go. Tacking it up. I got Bowmasters. Sure, I'll take Bowmasters. Eh, maybe I should have Kraga, man. I don't know. Fuck. Alright, I gotta go to five. What do you got? Uh, I think I'll take your one ring. What else do you have? Thoughtseize? Kind of annoying. Alright. Hopefully he didn't get a bow masters. Alright. Shall the apocalypse. Swing for one. I wonder if he'll thought sees. Maybe he's sniffing out as a land or something. Man, a croaks would be sick here. No? Okay. All right. Swing for one. Four damage. Ping. Yeah, we're working it, guys. We're working it. Nice. Swing for two. Do I just hold this too? No, because if I get croaks the next turn, that'd be bad. So play it. I'm at their mercy. But now they can play a one ring. All right. Oh my god, dude. Swing for two. All right. I mean, I sh probably will lose here. I'm going to hold this polluted delta. Make him think I got some. What do I have exiled? 
This void walkers? Okay. Wow. Alright, well I gotta find removal now. Alright. Swing for two. What the fuck? Uh... What the hell? Alright. My god, dude! Oh my god! Can I find a, a really good card? I, I can't win here. I got... <laughs> I have to find removal for the Void Walker, and then I need to double block the Grief. Unbelievable, man. Absolutely unbelievable. I'm deeper into my deck than he is by seven cards, yet I found no Griefs. I found no Shialdreds. I found one Fable the Mirror Breaker that he took or something. No, I, I milled that in. Um, horrible display again. Nice. All right, well, let's do this again. Let's bring in Leyline the Void. Let's take out some Not Dead After Alls. Um, let's bring in K Command. And let's take out this Magus of the Moon. Oh, and I should bring in Bone Crusher Giant too. Bring that in. Bring that in for um uh what should we call it? The um uh, one ring. Uh I I really don't want to side out for that one extra card. Maybe Croxa. Definitely want the Void Walkers in. Shaldred should be fine. Uh God, no, I want to have Croxa because they have Liliana's. Oh, God. Maybe a Thoughtseize? No. I think I'll show his Edict. I don't know. I like the K command because they're making me discard. You know, all that stuff. You can pick stuff up with the K command. Is this Black Scam or Black Control? I mean, what is this? It's got a million names. No. Cannot keep one lands. Damn it, deck. I said no. Do not keep one landers. Alright, keep. Put Blood Crypt and Grief on bottom. There we go. I'm just going to get fucking blasted by the damn... Scam. I'm just on those days, you know. I mean, no wonder why I gave him a modern so long ago. No, it's just a thought seize. Thank God. It's just a thought seize. You gotta take the Void Walker. You gotta take the Fable. Never mind. I think I must have a Fatal Push or something. All right. I have the life lead, so that's cool. Take Shaldred. <sighs> Sunken Citadel. I no longer have the life lead, so that's uncool.
Thank you, Detective Scott, for the sugary beverage sip redemption. Oh. Uh. Yes. So I can say this. Yes. That's awesome. So basically, my deck scammed me, right? I had to mold a five to even find like a couple lands. I don't know what the deal is. Is this, you know, this will be, after I lose this one, this will be six straight, six straight losses. Like, not even close. I've won one game. No, no, three games in the, that, uh, Jesus Christ. But, um, all right, well, let's, uh, use our mana effectively as possible. Let's, uh, I can't even, I can't even hit the, uh, I can't even kill the Void Walker because he's got a not dead after all. I mean, that's some insane shit. Like, literally unkillable. Alright, I mean, swing. Swing for two. Get a swamp. Play a fable of the mirror breaker. Yep. You do March for just one black, right? Oh, he wanted to gain two life. I guess he has a Bowmaster now. Oh, he wants to maybe use Bowmaster. I see. No, he can't now. He just attacked with it, so that won't work. Uh, yeah, I think I'll be discarding that one. That shit out of here. Alright. I don't mind that at all. Pretty damn good. Uh, swing for three. Come on, some good. The grief. I can't cast that. Makes no sense to cast that. So I think he'll probably not. He'll probably play not dead after all. Dalthy Voidwalker still has to follow. Yeah, he it still has to follow. Yeah, he has to cast it now. Comes back as a 4-3. Gets my Bowmasters, I would assume. Yeah, it has to be. Mm-hmm. I need like a fatal push here. Bone crusher, all right. So bone crush stomp. Or I mean stomp bone stomp molten collapse.
No, no, no. Let, let's do it like this. Kill that. I'm at 11. Jesus Christ. Well, that's what this bone crusher's for. Is that. Um, not that I'm really going to be able to do much because I'm just mana screwed and I don't have any good threats, right? I need to top like a grief, like right now, even though grief wouldn't be great either. Um, K command's okay. A command could pick up my Void Walker. It's probably all right. Uh, guess I'll just cast it and hope they don't find. Uh, hope they don't find uh, another Bowmasters. Yeah. Sure. This one. Yeah. Why the hell not? Not dead after all. No. Okay. I'm willing just to swing here with the Ragavan. Alright. We're going to six. We're drawing a shit ton of cards. Yeah. There you go. It's fucking terrible, man. Just got awful. I mean, how can I ever win when my deck performs like this? Like, I'm playing the best I can with what I've been given. Like, it's just, I don't get it. Like, why is it not working? I'm at such a loss. Like, what the fuck happened? Yeah, I mean, sure. Well, that's weird. They're gonna... Okay, they just get rid of a swamp. Okay. I mean, a shawl or my own be all... No, I mean... Yeah, I don't know. Sure. That ain't half bad, actually.
Take the news card. Unconsiderable. Uh, and yeah, I mean, you swing at him, right? Do you swing at the Liliana? I mean, you might as well swing at the Lily, right? Because they're just going to gain. They're going to go down to six, gain eight, up to 14. I mean, I guess. Yeah, just swing at Liliana the Veil. I mean, I really can't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, I got to swing at Lily, I think. And then do I block the Shialdred if it comes at me? You know, is that what I want to do? I mean, there's not a lot I can do here. This has to be one of the worst performances I've ever seen this deck have. I mean, I just, I'm so screwed all the time. Like, mana screwed. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm just at a complete loss. And that, that ends the game. I can't uh, deal with that. Yeah. I think I have one more swamp. Yeah, I do. All right. 0-4. Don't know why they're not attacking. They should. There you go. Um, doesn't really matter what I do. I need to find, like, Revolt Push, I guess. Even that's not going to do enough. I guess I get croaks in him. I'm just going to kill Liliana. I have to block the shoulder. I mean, I really need a revolt push there, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I just gained ten life, why not? People ask why I don't really like modern anymore, and there's the card right there, the one ring. Poorly designed card. There's absolutely no reason for it to play the way it does. There's just none. There's no reason for this. Yet they did it. Right? Why didn't they fatal oh they got another one? Oh, and four day. Oh, and four. Well, guys, I think I'm going to call it there. Um, it's clearly not working. I got to give it a day off. I mean, I gave it a day off, and it performed even worse. You know? I mean, this list looks great. There ain't nothing wrong with this list. You got everything you need in it. You got your Ragavans. You got your Void Walkers. You got your Fatal Mirror Breakers. You got your Grief Scam. You got your Ogre's Bowmasters. 
Got some Shialdrins. Molten Collapse and Thought Seizes. Fatal Pushes and Lightning Bolts are like the best removal spells for the most part. Should be a great deck. Played like ass today. Like it wasn't even functioning. I, I mean, I literally couldn't even play most of the time. Like either I had no lands or only lands. Like, you know, and I really, I really worked hard too. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I really worked hard on not getting upset. Like, yeah, I, I get upset sometimes. I think it's just, you have to at some point, you have to get mad. Um, but today I didn't get mad. I'm just like, well, whatever, you know, this is how Magic the Gathering is. RNG, RNG, right? That's how it always is. RNG, RNG, you know, and just, uh, there's a reason why no one takes a Magic champion as serious as a chess champion. You could be the dumbest motherfucker and win a pro tour with good RNG. You ain't gonna do it with chess or Street Fighter even or most games. Um. Just really bad. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Like, it was a really bad day. 0-4 won one game, I think. I think I won one game against Domain Zoo where I, I misplayed there. I think I still would have lost. I would have delayed. Yeah, who knows? Maybe I could have gotten there. If I would have made the right play. But I'd never seen Blood Moon versus Leyline of Guild Pack like that before. Um, so that's a good learning experience. So now Leyline of the Guild Pack makes Blood Moon completely obsolete, right? There's just no reason to ever play Blood Moon against Domain Zoo, right? It just doesn't even matter anymore, which sucks. Like, how the hell has Blood Moon been completely destroyed again? I don't know. It's never going to recover from that. They're never going to ban Leyline of the Guild Pack. It's not happening. Because if they think it's too strong, they'll ban Sion of Draco, not Leyline of the Guild Pack. But then who would play Leyline of the Guild Pack, I guess? I guess it'd be like a soft ban on it. I don't know. Regardless, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Um, really bad performance from the deck. A really, really poor performance. Um, but uh, maybe I should play one more. Nah, I think I'll call it. Thinking of my time, you know, like, I don't know. Anyways, guys, it's going to do it for me. Let's do some shout-outs. Uh, shout-outs for uh, Manure Butt, Detective Scott Gunsey, and D-Man Blitz, and the MTG Butt, and the Night Buff Gaming Company. I really appreciate that. Um, if you did watch this live on Twitch, please consider following. Watch this on YouTube. Please consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. You can also follow me on uh, Twitter for reasons unknown. I don't know why you do that, but you can. Um, I will be back here tomorrow for a time for more of this. You know, I had really high hopes for this deck playing this week. You know, the last time I played this deck, it was pretty good the whole week. I think it had only had like one day where it went like two and three instead of a three and two. So far, a two and three, now an 0 and three so far. So the best I can do is a two and three. Uh, finishing this league tomorrow. Is that an 0 and four? 0 and three. All right. So yeah. Um, try again tomorrow. I mean, it can't be as bad today. 0 and four. I mean, just win one match tomorrow is immediately better than today. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate that. Um, everyone be safe out there. Eat some good food, drink some good beverage, spend time with your loved ones. Way more important than hanging out with me. And I hope to see you all uh, here tomorrow. All right, not, that means you got something way more important. That's awesome. All right, buddy. Peace!